welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great and if you don't know me my name is aishwarya and today i'm going to show you how to make this christmas diy using just dollar tree items it just took me 10 dollars to do this diy so it's totally customizable you can add the things you wish or remove something which i have added in this video and also this might be the last christmas diy for this year hopefully coming years i'll be doing more of these and also the next diys would be uh, pretty normal and not holiday related so do enjoy those as well with that being said let's just jump into the video for this video you would need this wreath form you can also use the metal one or any shape you require i'm using the round one here and also you would need these uh, mesh ribbons and also this mesh fabric or mesh tool. All I'm doing here is wrapping the mesh fabric around the wreath form using hot glue gun. Once that is done, this is how it should look. Now take the other mesh fabric. This is actually a mesh ribbon, not a fabric. So it's really difficult to use as it is, as it has some wiry texture. But um, I have a solution which you will see uh, further ahead. All you have to do is attach and make a bubble kind of structure using this. Now I'm attaching the end of this uh, mesh ribbon to the wreath form using hot glue uh, gun again but it's kind of really difficult so um, i'll be using a thread to tie uh, around four inches distance and you know you'll see that further ahead um, the first two steps here is like just using um, glue gun it does take a time to dry as well um, and also be careful it's really hot and please don't burn your hand like I did, I have burned my hand so many times in this um, DIY. As you can see, the end of the mesh ribbon is attached. Now leave around four inches gap and pinch it together to create a bubble structure and attach it to the wreath form using a glue gun. But th this method is a little bit difficult and also time consuming. Um, so i came up with a solution where i tie the ribbon with a thread in every four inch interval if that makes any sense so you'll see further in the video what i have explained here This was the solution what I talked about earlier. So do this to all the other mesh ribbons as well. Um, and I'll do this off camera and I'll be back.
as you can see i have finished tying till the end of the ribbon so now it's the best part it's pretty easy from here all you have to do is attach those tied parts into the wreath form just like that which takes way less time and also it's way less tedious it's just that don't burn your hand <laughs> that's it because as this is mesh it just the glue directly hits your skin uh, so use something else to you know press it down so do this all around the wreath um, even the back part of the wreath just to give it a fluff you can use how many ever mesh ribbons you want i have used three so i i have used two uh, i was about to use three but i felt no need of that so i just skipped the last one So this is how it should look once it's done. So I'm taking the other ribbon and attaching it not behind I guess it's just you know around it again just to give that fluffiness as I said earlier. I'll do that and I'll be back in a few. So this is how it should look, the front and the back. So after this, it's actually a very fun part. Uh, it's just adding your extra things. So I'm using um, not to make a loop so that I can hang it outside. You can do this however you want. Even you can, I guess, stick it or you can just place it on the hook directly. I just took an extra precaution by making this loop and um, adding it there once that is done this is how it should look now I'm taking some of my accessories and attaching it together so I have this frosted cherries those Christmas bell and this um, pom poms so this cherries had this metal part which I just pierced it to the foam and that's that that was so easy do the same thing around you can add many more items as well I just kept it very limited so I'm taking this green and red pom-poms and then attaching here and there just for the pop-up color the main highlight here is the Christmas bells which will go on top even this you can attach it however you want I'm just placing it there just press it down uh, neatly and yeah that's it
so that's all for this video i hope you guys liked and enjoyed this video as much as i did if you ever recreate this diy please tag me on the instagram at simply diy which i'll be linking down here as well as in the description box for you guys to go ahead and check it out and follow me there uh, also please like share and subscribe to my channel it really helps and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video every time with that being said you guys have a great day bye